Hi, thank you so much for joining us today, live streaming for the Everyday Edison's casting call for season five. I'm Elise Williams, the producer writer for Everyday Edison's, and I'm very happy to welcome Corey Waterman. Corey. Yes. <laughs> how was your presentation to the judges in the studio just now? Well, they liked it, and uh, I kept it short. Uh, but I, as far as I know, they they liked it. So, how did you feel about your presentation? How oh. about you? How how did you do? Nervous, and um, I felt like I was able to tell them everything I wanted to to tell them. Um, I probably could take another half hour and talk about it, but. Uh, you know. Well, how long did you prepare for this particular presentation? Did you memorize lines? Did you prepare posters, video? Oh, I just had my prototype with me. And um, actually, I had a kind of a list of things that I wanted to talk about. And every time you guys talked with us about how we should give the presentation, finally threw the list away and just went on. <laughs> <laughs> and just talked about it, you know. You did it your way. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much so, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm sure it went fine, and I'm sure they were very impressed mm -hmm. because, you know, you're one of 25, only 25, yeah. who were chosen from thousands of other entries mm -hmm. online, so you must feel really good about that. I do feel good about that, yes. Good. It's nice to be recognized. Yeah. When, when did you start inventing, and um, what were your, some of your early inspirations? Um, I don't know when I started inventing. I, I had an idea for uh, for skis uh, about uh, ten years ago. Um, I didn't do anything with it, uh, but uh, a guy I work with is a professional skier, and uh, uh, he thought it was a great idea. But I just didn't uh, know where I would be able to go with it, and so uh, that was probably the first time I really thought of a an invention, and then. Um, it was just recently, since January, that um, I had made uh, the one that I presented today, in fact. Um, and I needed it. So most of the things that I uh, think about are things that I need at the time and don't have it, so might as well make it, you know. <laughs> that's a great philosophy because that's how most inventions, how much most products are brought to life. Mm -hmm. Because there's a need, and then the inventor satisfies that need by creating the product that addresses it. Yeah. So you're right on track. And my fiance and I joke about it. Uh, she says that uh, uh, she has a lot of problems that she comes up with and she wants me to solve them, so. <laughs> mm, maybe too much information. <laughs> your, yes, your fiance has a lot of problems. No, no that she, she comes up with. <laughs> oh, okay, all right, okay, okay, you know, that's better. How could we do this, how could we do that? You know? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Good. <laughs> well, uh, talk about uh, the supportive families or family that you grew up in, or do you have uh, supportive family and friends back in Riverside, California, that uh, you rely on? Uh, my fiance, um, and uh, I have uh, a few friends that um, you know coax me on into to making these things. Uh, my uh, my mom and dad, uh, they're not alive anymore, but. Uh, uh, they always thought that uh, I had a bit of genius in me. <laughs> Don't all parents yes. feel that way <laughs> about their children? Only my mom and dad would love me. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's important that you have some support, and I think the Edison Nation family has been supportive yes, for you as yes. well. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, uh, especially now that I've gotten to meet some of them. Uh, I find this place extremely interesting. Uh, so I'm going to fill out a resume. <laughs> but uh, no, really, it's, uh, it's interesting here. And, uh, and they're all a good group of people. So, Yes, uh, I think when you start inventing, then you have a challenge of who to trust. Yeah. And so how did you determine that Edison Nation was worth, for, you know, like putting your name in the hat and yeah. signing up and then becoming uh, a friend? And Well, I had... Uh, um, a few other things that I was working with, um, and I sent one of them out, or was going to send it out to one company, and it finally found that it was going to cost me up to $18,000 before they would even tell me if they were going to work with it. And um, so, 
you know, I can, okay, I'll go, I'll see you guys later on. And then uh, there's another company that they were charging like $100 uh, for every entry. And I was, wasn't really getting much of any kind of feedback with it. Um, and um, I just didn't feel comfortable. I, I, I did it one time with them. And um, then I just happened to see this Edison Nation on a computer search and uh, started looking into it and uh, my fiance even looked into it for me too she was she has a lot of um, um, she takes time to really go into it you know and um, so uh, we both agreed that this would be some place that uh, we could probably trust and uh, we figure since it's got uh, the every uh, everyday Edison show and uh, um, and you actually can talk to the people over the phone you know or email them and they actually send you an email back um, we just felt that this was a, a good, uh, good place to go to. It's a good fit, and we're so happy that you joined us. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> yes, because we appreciate inventors like mm -hmm. you who share your ideas, and we work together to make it happen. Mm -hmm. We hope that we can make your dreams come oh, true. Oh, me too. Yeah. <laughs>